What's up guys, Bang the Ben over here. We're back in another banger video today. Today is kind of a sad day because I actually got rid of my old Wrangler JK, but instead I got another car. So this car has actually been one of my dream cars. It's been one of my cars that I actually really wanted for a long, long time, even before I had my Wrangler. Uh, this is also a Wrangler, but I'm about to show you guys what car it is. and. You guys, I'm not sure how you guys re react to it, but I'm sure if you guys already seen it in the back. It's a brand new 2020 Jeep Wrangler Willys. So I'm gonna give you guys a brief breakdown of what the car you know, has and what my plans for the car is in the future. As you guys might have noticed, my previous car had a lot of parts on it uh, as far as aftermarket parts. This one actually comes relatively like built from the factory. That's why I got the Willys edition and not the Jeep Wrangler Sport or the Sahara. Uh, this one already has the mud twin tires, the black dot grill. Uh, it does have the LED lighting. Uh, the headlights as well as the LED fog lights um, and you come out to the side right over here you have the wheels that are beautiful gorgeous black wheels these are unique only to the wheelies so no other Jeep has it the Rubicon does not come with these wheels uh, nor does the Sahara or the Sport uh, it's got the little tiny Jeep logo right here which is really nice it's got little Easter eggs uh, the color is what really grabbed my attention it's finished in very blue it's called ocean blue metallic uh, and it has a little like pearl kind of vibe to it uh, which is beautiful under the sun and of course you know you, you guys can see it says Willys on the side and it does come with the off-road suspension it has does have the Rubicon shocks this particular Willys does uh, depending on how you option them from the factory uh, it does have the Dana 44 axle already guys so I have the window sticker of the car right here I'm gonna read you guys a few options that this car comes with uh, which is kind of cool uh, this part this particular Jeep does come with a package it's called the Jeep trail rated kit so that kit is actually a bag from the Jeep dealership or the Jeep factory it comes with the tow strap uh, from Jeep and it also comes with like a bunch of gloves um, so you can you know when you're doing your off-road recoveries you have these already ready for you to go uh, which is kind of cool also it does have a lot of other options such as the LED you know, headlight group as I mentioned earlier uh, it does have the 7 inch display uh, as well as the 8 speed transmission also does have the 3.6 liter engine that does come I don't think it's standard the 2.0 turbo is the standard engine that comes with these but I had to get the V6 just because they're known to be reliable and they're just much more um, powerful engines uh, so I do like the V6 a lot more uh, Fuel economy is pretty garbage on this car, uh, if I can be honest with you, but then if you're a Jeep driver, you already know, Jeeps are not made to have good fuel economy, they're made to have fun, so you can go in the outdoors, mountains, and you know, so you're buying a Jeep for fuel economy, I recommend you not buy that car. Alright guys, so since I already mentioned to you guys what the car kind of comes with from the factory, uh, let me talk about a few things I want to do to the car in the near future and the things I've already kind of ordered for the car. Uh, I did order the gas cap you know, cover for the door, the fuel door, as well as the speakers for the sound system. Uh, even though the sound system on this car is fairly decent, I did want to upgrade it because I do like music and music has always been a big part of my life. Um, but I do want to add a winch onto the bumper as well as the little LED pod lights, the little small lights on the side. Um, hopefully by Baja Design, that's my, what I'm shooting for. I really like the, the amber Baja Design lights for the car. Also, I want to add a alpha like shovel, uh, shovel, or maybe an alpha jack on the actual hood of the car. I think it'll make the car look very nice as far as the looks go, and it'll make it look more practical too. Because you know you can always use a shovel or an alpha jack when you're off-roading. 
Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Uh, if you guys like today's video, today's content, make sure to give it a like, you know, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your homegirls, share it with your homeboys. And also, if you guys have any ideas as to what I should do next to the car, um, yeah, as far as modifications go, make sure to comment that below or DM me on Instagram, uh, Wrangler underscore Ben. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Out.